Hi, I'm Julia and this is my capstan lathe. I just thought I'd uh, do a little video um, giving an overview of capstans because they're uh, sort of old technology that um, maybe a lot of people don't know much about. So uh, I don't know much about them either, but uh, I will pass on what I do know. OK. This is my capstan lathe. Um, it's badged Exacta, but I don't know who the actual manufacturer was. Um, I've actually got two of these. Um, but only one cut-off slide. So I'll just, just show you... Um, a bit from this angle and then I'll change angles. So this massive cast iron, it's all cast iron, even the bed, even the stand is cast iron. So the headstock lifts up so you can change speeds. Um, at this end we've got uh, a collet release lever so you don't have, so that's the collet tightened, that's the collet released. So if you're in a production environment you'd, you'd have a, a big long bar going through the spindle um, with some sort of mechanism to push or apply pressure. So with, with the motor still running, you, you'd push this forwards and then the bar would be automatically fed through. Um, so that's that. Um, I've got the switch gear down here, which you can't quite see. But So that's, that's this end. Um, this is a cut-off slide, which is manual. And then this is the actuating lever for the capstan. bring you somewhere where you can actually see what's going on. Um, yes, yeah, so that's the cut-off slide and you, you, you can, there's end stops so you can adjust how much is cut off. Um, okay, so I'll just give you a quick demonstration of how, how it would work. So the, the first um, tool that you use is a, an end stop. So you pull this forwards like this. And uh, you can't quite see it, but there's some there's some limits on the the far end of, of this sliding piece. So you, what you do is you pull your stock up to that end stop, and then we're going to use that locking lever at the back to lock the collet. So hopefully you can see that. So that the the end piece is now that distance is is accurately controlled by the end stop. So we're going to draw the capstan all the way back and you see it will rotate round one position and then the first position is a uh, center center drill slocum drill so you go in drill your center drill and then you come back and then we've got uh, an intermediate drill so you drill again and then we've got the full size drill And then you come back and that's all of them that's all of the drilling operations and then the final operation is to come in with the cross slide so you then part off the part and that's that part done and then you release the handle at the back bring bring this the stock forwards so we've actually got a couple of empty positions so you bring it round to the end stop and start on the next part. So um, if, you, if you set it up properly, you don't need to switch the motor off. You're just continually making parts. And it's a, it's a very efficient way of, of getting lots of parts out in a short period of time. Um, you don't need any skill to operate the machine, really. Um, this, all of the skill is in the setting up of all the tools and deciding what the order of operations is. And that was traditionally the job of a tool setter. Um, what I'm not showing you here is the tool, there's tools that will actually, can actually do turning as well. Uh, have I got a tool? So for instance, that's a tool for turning. It's got, it's, a, it's called a roller box because there's rollers to support the back of the work. Um, there's a tangential tool in the end there, and you basically feed that in from the end. 
um, and obviously because all of the the load is axial you can you can get quite a lot of force on there so you can make quite heavy cuts so that's that's quite handy you can have sort of multiple ones of those to do like a step shaft um, and the other things I've got is uh, something to hold a, a die so the, these you, you feed you feed the die in the die will be f fitted there when you, when you get to a, a certain to the depth stop the back stops moving this will carry on feeding for a short distance into the work and then it spins freely so then you can uh, typically if you reverse the machine sometimes that will unscrew um, but my machine hasn't got an auto a quick reverse so I'd stop the stop the lathe and just wind it back manually you can also get a uh, similar type uh, tools which hold taps which is what that is and, and then the other if you're doing a lot of threading uh, you do something like uh, a Coventry die head so that's a very quick overview of um, capstan lathe um, I, I, I got a bit obsessed with buying capstan tools at one point so there's quite a lot of capstan tools I've got a full set of collets there um, yeah, so it can be you can get a bit obsessive about about uh, capstans. <laughs> um, I've also got a capstan head for my Myford, which is up there, and that sits on the cross slide. Uh, I haven't used that much at the moment, but um, I'd, I'd rather get the use out of this machine. Otherwise, it's just sort of taking up a lot of space for no reason. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed that. Something a little bit different. Um, like, share and subscribe. Um, please leave a comment. I'm always interested in comments. Um, maybe maybe, uh, maybe you were a tool setter in a previous life. Maybe you can give me some creative criticism. That would be nice. Um, yeah, so anyway, hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you in the next one.